Thank you guys all for lighting up my life right now. Uh, <laughs> I had some technical issues, but through the the magic of laughter, uh, these with these three, uh, Harvey, Chelsea, and Nika, thank you for joining me. Thank you again. Uh, your humor to Lopez versus Lopez this week. Uh, I think my my biggest question is, you know, you guys probably grew up with the the George Lopez show. So what is it for you guys now as actors to be you know, part of one of his shows when, you know, it was probably part of your life, earlier part of life. I know for me, I wish I could tell like little Jessica that that was going to happen when she was like sitting there, you know, watching every episode of George Lopez, because like I've told them a million times, I've seen George Lopez's face on the screen more than I've ever seen my dad. So it's like very much like he, you know, I'm like, you're my dad now, you know, you and Bob Saget. So um, <laughs> I, first st sitting on the couch and like seeing George to my left and having Harvey and like Matt and mine and Chelsea and just being like, is this really happening? This can't be like, I, I, I only dream of on TV once in my life and then to have a career of it and then being sitting next to somebody that I looked up to so much and like wanted to be their kid basically, <laughs> you know, a little very, very surreal. Yeah, and and not only, not only just work on the show but we're technically a part of his family you know what mm -hmm. I mean like what is that like <laughs> who is who is I who is you you know like it was so surreal to like now we could forever say that we are related to George Lopez like we did that and it was definitely a pinch me moment and it was so like I think uh Harvey said it earlier like it's so meta I don't know if I'm, I'm using the cool term right, but I think it is. <laughs> you did, yeah. I, I agree. I echo everything um, you said. Both of you, it's just, uh, you know, I remember uh, like watching the show back to back and falling asleep to it and waking up at three in the morning and just like waking up to the. Yeah. And that was really like a comfort, like ASMR if you will it was a comfort ASMR to know that I was in a room and the the TV was on and I was listening to it I wasn't awake to watch it because I was watching it all night and I fall asleep to it and then to wake up in the middle of the night and then have that comfort of like ASMR soothe you back to sleep was something that I remember being really okay just falling asleep to this George Lopin opening credits ASMR <laughs> So you never, you never shut off the TV. You just left it on. I didn't. My mom would get so mad. The next day, the back of the television, I had to turn for you. And I was like, oh, is it on? So like, see, mañana. And I was like, oh, okay, I won't do it again. And the next day, da, 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 da. <laughs> Let's play. Uh, you guys all play cousins, primos, and uh, you know, in our culture, I think I argue that primos in our culture more than any other family member, sometimes are very, 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 very um, close. Uh, tell me, what was it like for you guys all to, to become a big family? I know you already touched a little bit on it and, and that feeling of, you know, wow, we're part of George Lopez's family and being on set. I mean, I think we did it really instantly. I think the first day, and this is something Chelsea said earlier, uh, you know, Jess tried uh, to do a prank on her from the day because she's never done, it was baby's first three cam. And, you know, Chelsea's been working for, you know, like decades and like in this business, but like this is her first three cam. She was nervous. And so I think as a as in traditional cousin format, Jess uh <laughs> did a prank on her and then she was closing the door after a scene where we setting up back to one. And she goes, No, you never close the door, you know, and like doing that whole bit and like, like you know, like with her. And that was really sweet because uh it just showed the report that you could have with someone. And that's usually not the case when you go on set. Some actors can be very distant and on to their own. I get it. Or you know, the way they process things. Uh, but this was very nice. It was a first day. So once after the first day, I was like, oh, we're good. Like this is just building, going to be building on each other. And I, I remember why before we went through that for live audience, we all hugged, the three of us hugged by the door and said, you did it. And we congratulate Chelsea on her first and uh, it was a really lovely moment. It was just like, uh, we really kind of became that process of uh, creating these characters. Yeah, no, it was great. Like, so Jess and I have a relationship and then Jess have a relationship and Harvey and I know of each other, but this really actually connecting because the Latino, Latino Hollywood is so small. We all know there in some way. <laughs> and so I was like, hold, I, was, I had talked to Jess and I was like, I'm holding on to you like a security. I've never done this before. And so I was really excited to get to work with her because I'm obsessed with her. She does this voice that, remember that? 
Diego that I love and she did it for me and I was so excited. <laughs> um, but like, so it was amazing to work with her and then to like meet Harvey and also Harvey, I don't know, you just saw him at the Oscars. Yeah, right. like a, a nap. <laughs> and so like, it was just so like loving and welcoming. So we were all like, hang, we were like always hanging out in like Harvey's trailer together, just bonding and having a good time. And it was just so like, just beautiful. And it was so, again, for me, it felt so welcoming for both of them that have done sitcoms and done more for, and me being a little bit more nervous, but them being the vets and, and knowing what's up, but also still being like, Hey, was that funny? Like, I think I'm going to change this or oh, I'm going to do this. And like, they're still like trying to be the best that they can. And it was so motivating. So you guys play very, very unique characters are really, really fun to, uh, to explore because of like, like everything they have their pros and their cons. Uh, is this something you guys got to pick? Something that was written out for you? Maybe you got to play around with or we played with your roles? Uh, I know uh, Jessica or uh, Jessica or uh, Hell <laughs> Jessica. That's all. Well, um, I mean, I love, you know, being on social media is making videos and stuff like that. So it wasn't super far fetched for me, but it's a character I've never gotten the opportunity to play. Uh, I usually am playing like a tough character or, you know, someone people are running from. So, you know, the fact that I got to be like the cool girl that my, you know, looks up to and maybe wants to be like is a new, is new territory for me. But it was, uh, it, it was easy. It was fun. No, I had like mental breakdowns. I kept asking Harvey and Chelsea was like, oh yeah, I don't think I can. I'm not good at this. But no, it was like, you know, um, having such a great security blanket, everyone on set because the community is so small in our industry, like we know so many people, like our crafty was my crafty on all my blocks. So it's like, I, you know, got to see uh, another primo on set. So. Which by the way is the best crafty. Like I literally. Yes, yes. shout out to Will. (laughs) But no, it really is like, we spent a lot of time together and that was time that we, you know, had to spend together. It wasn't we had to. A lot of actors, like we said, go to their own. So it was a lot of fun. But you asked me about Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. She's super fun. I was so sad that because uh, we went through a couple different changes with her. We were going to have in beginning, she was going to have these big lips, like these crazy big lips. And then that thing, because we, you know, have so many scenes to shoot at the same time and go back and forth. So, um, you know, it was a, it was a great process. And what we landed on was, you know, terrifying but uh, a lot of fun at the same time. Yeah, I know, I think, oh, like, I think it's one of those things where, like you said, like, oh, did we have any say on on the characters? And it's like- That was your question, no. No, (laughs) you know what I mean? Like, we are just actors that we said, they say, hey, do you want to do this? And we say or no sometimes. And this was one of those opportunities where it was, you know, to us and we had this opportunity, but- we didn't get to pick you know what I mean like they picked us they is amazing Debbie Wolf the showrunner um I think she did kind of write it with us in mind because at least me and Jess talked about that she had mentioned to us about being the primos and things like that um so it was definitely something exciting but no we are we're just actors we just show up and work (laughs) Yeah. Just final, just final question. Wrap it up. What, what, uh, what got you guys maybe over that pressure of being on set with you know comedy legends, kind of like George Lopez. We talked about him. You know, Al Madrigal. You have Selena Leva in there. I have scenes with all of them, of course, but obviously you got to see them. Well, uh, just real quick. You know, what, what, uh, what made you feel comfortable? What did they do to make you guys feel welcome too? Well, they hug you. The first time we yeah. went, everybody came, introduced themselves, hugged us. And it was, you know, seeing, um, uh, I don't, is there a guest star that's on the show that we're not allowed to talk about? I don't think we're supposed to. Okay, oh. there's a guest star on the show that is uh, someone I'm a huge fan of. So that was a great experience. And uh, I was nervous about that. Everybody introduced themselves, hugged like each other. We've all kind of worked with each other. So um, no, it was very welcoming. I've worked with Selene. She was like the first one to be like, okay, let me know. Like we're good. Everyone wanted to make everyone comfortable. George yeah. would walk up to us anytime he says, you good? You good? Do you need anything? Like he always checked in on us. Like it was just a really fun, easy, comfortable and want to be on all the time. <laughs> 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 thank you so much for your time obviously it's a i don't know it's a bucket list moment you guys get to cr- uh, check off your list and hopefully there'll be more of it there definitely will be more of it in the future uh thanks for your time and uh we look forward to everybody watching. so take care thank you